I was just travelling along the M4 motorway, as you do, coming away from uh, from Heathrow and realised I was near to something quite significant that may just interest you a bit. So, um, five miles in that direction is Heathrow Airport. Uh, about two miles in that direction uh, is Windsor Castle. Uh, American fans of The Office will be intrigued to know that just over the hill there, well, no hill, um, just in, in the distance there, stone's throw away, is uh, the town of Slough, where the original um, uh, series of The Office was based. Yeah, but the significance of what I'm doing now, <clears throat> if I've got my bearings right, and I think I have, I'm standing on top of what once upon a time was a Neolithic causeway enclosure. Uh, it would have stretched uh, in, in quite a circle uh, around me and I, I think I'm standing on top of where one of the pits were dug. Now what this is, what you can see around me, is a gravel pit that's been uh, dug by a Semex Limited. Now Semex, huge company, but they're really good with the archaeology. So Wessex archaeology have been in here and dug this site and the results have been phenomenal. The amount of material that they took, take, have taken out the pits that I'm probably standing over right now, as you can see, it's, it's all sort of flooded in. It's been dug out and, and flooded. Uh, but the amount of material that was taken out by Wessex ar archaeology speaks to a really vibrant community uh, in this very spot um, 5,000 and more years ago so <laughs> a bit of ex extraordinary expedition but uh, it gives me a little bit of a thrill to uh, to be here and it's the, the, the craziness of the of the M4 motorway just there and, uh, slough just behind me. I suppose you could say it's still vibrant, uh, but the amount of pottery and and uh, um, and uh, bones and, and flint uh, that have been dug out round here are quite phenomenal. Um, I'll uh, I'll prop I'll I'll get back home and add on a bit so you've got a bit more detail. Uh, but there you go. You never know what oddities are going to turn up, do you? OK, back at Mission Control. I promised I'd uh, show you a bit more. So look at this. Right, so here we are in Google Maps, and this is uh, approximately where I was standing, round about here. And you can see the curve of the causeway enclosure pits, the Neolithic pits. I, pres I can only presume that uh, Wessex archaeology got to dig down quite intensively on them and this photograph had taken some time ago because uh, <laughs> standing there now you could see uh, it was a bit of a desolation uh, as uh, um, Semex had got in there to um, uh, dig out the gravel. Interestingly, I'm wondering why this circular area here has been uh, left because I think that's definitely still there. I'm just wondering why. I wonder if there's something there. I'll tell you what, there is something here. This is Ben and Jerry's, um, uh, ben and Jerry's UK headquarters there. Okay, there's the motorway. That's Slough. And over here, that's Heathrow Airport. And of course, if I zoom out, you get the whole of London in. And if I zoom out even further, yeah, there's England and the blue dot is where I am now. So here's a video I found by Wessex Archaeology showing what they were up to at the time. Um, and the, the whole of this dig is funded by Semex themselves, the uh, company that owns the site. Um, yeah, there's another view. I come to have been standing very far from where this guy is now. And isn't that an extraordinary sight? I'll stop the video because that... To an archaeologist, a field archaeologist, it is an extraordinary view. You just don't get bits like that, only very rarely, of course. Um, I can't speak to what sort of bones those are, and there's a mixture of uh, bones and pottery in there. 
Um, so, you know, that's quite a lot of work getting that out um, you know, before Semex get back in there and, uh, and start excavating their gravel. Um, so, yeah, there's uh, pottery, there's flint, there's uh, flint scrapers, there's a uh, oh, bit of uh, Langdale X by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a little graphic showing where it must have come from. Same view again, um, excavating a little bit of pottery there. So, yeah, quite extraordinary stuff. Um, and there's another view. Now here we've got a drone shot of the causeway enclosure, and if I run the video you can see the green blobs show you where the Neolithic pits at the edge of the enclosure would have been. Those markers you can see are not markers at all, but they're people casting their shadows across the landscape there. And you can just see uh, some of the sections, uh, the archaeological uh, sections taken out, uh, cross-sectioning the pits there. I think they did a lot more since, if the um, uh, aerial view from Google is to be believed. And where this guy is standing here, I think that's where I was standing to, to make the video uh, not so long ago. Well, then, so there you have it. Hope that was uh, interesting. And if you uh, didn't know there was such a thing as uh, riding court farm causeway enclosure before, you do now. <laughs> OK, see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this Prehistory Guys show. There's loads more to watch and you can get to some of it on this playlist here. If you'd like to receive updates about when we publish new content, hit the subscribe button. And you can unlock even more content by becoming a Patreon supporter. Hit this button here to find out more about that. See you soon.